Aloha, my family. It is your girl T, aka the Nappy Headed Jehovah, here with one of my somewhat rare Get Ready With Me's. But I just have an important, I guess, channel announcement slash conversation I want to have with you guys. Uh, long story short, from now on, this is going to be an ASMR mukbang couples vlog prank channel with a soupçon of clout chasing. In all seriousness, I do want to talk to you guys. I want to talk to my nap fam. So let's just go ahead and jump into the get ready with me before we even get started because I had so many things I wanted to discuss. I've gone ahead and linked all of the products that I used in the description box, which is something that I always do, but I definitely was not showing and explaining each thing as I used it. So if you see something that tickles your pickle, it's below. All right, to the get ready with me, let go to unready tea. You saw the title, this is a get ready with me. I'm actually going to see Black Star tonight and I'm so excited. I love Black Star. I haven't seen Most Def, or I should say Yasin Bey, since he was still called Most Def. And at that show, he had a surprise guest and brought out Taleb Kweli. So it wasn't a huge surprise because they obviously rolled deep with each other, but uh, it was dope. And this is gonna be my first time actually seeing Black Star properly, even though I've been fans of both Most and Talib, as long as I can remember being aware of like good, what good music was. But I figured I would film this Get Ready With Me um, just so I could talk to you guys. I know a lot of you have noticed that my last couple of uploads or technically live streams were not my typical fare. But with all the drama that was going on in the YouTube community in particular, in the makeup community here on YouTube. I just had a lot of thoughts that I felt weren't being presented in the videos surrounding that whole drama. And I also touched on um, how it kind of has inspired me to change a bit what I do on this channel. But the main update is that from now on, my channel is going to change. I do wanna just uh, continue, basically keep this conversation going with you guys about my channel, this community. So this is going to be a bit of a rant, <laughs> get ready with me. So we can at least merge some of the things that I've always done here on YouTube with some of the things that I want to start doing more on YouTube. In short, I have been very close on the verge of quitting YouTube for the past six months. It's definitely something that I think about on a daily basis. But one thing I've always tried to do is present things on this channel that I didn't really feel were being presented elsewhere, at least not to my knowledge, on this platform. And most recently that extended to my feelings and opinions on the James Charles Tati Jeffree Star bullshit. A lot of you guys clearly were interested in hearing my thoughts on it because I mean, numbers don't lie. The views on those videos are far higher than what I get with my normal content. That isn't to say that they're gangbusters. They're not that good, but they are more in line with what I feel I should be getting consistently with just my regular uploads. So clearly I've just been going wrong. You know, I haven't been doing videos that are good <laughs> and that people actually want to see. And it's been really dope to talk to all of you guys in the comments and get your opinions on this whole matter, as well as the bigger issues that I was using that whole situation to help contextualize bigger thoughts that I've had about the responsibility of large YouTubers and people with big audiences, as well as the responsibilities of us as viewers. Here on my channel, I've always had, and I always will, have a policy of respecting different opinions and different points of view. We don't even have to agree. I mean, that's not an issue at all. That's actually more interesting if we can have differing opinions. I just ask that everyone who shares their thoughts do so in a thoughtful and respectful manner. But here is what we are not gonna do on my channel. I will not tolerate people in the comments saying things like, can you please stop being racist and talking about black people versus white people? Can you please stop this? It's not helping. What's not helping are comments like that. The sun has just gone behind a cloud. I'm shooting with daylight only, so that may happen throughout this video. There was one less than smart individual in particular who was saying to me slash to us, because she was clapping back at other people in the comments as well, 
She was basically calling us racist for pointing out Jeffree Star's racist past slash present and, to be perfectly candid, Tati's racism by association in one of the live streams that I did about that whole situation. I mean, I talked about that, I think, in all of the live streams. That was why I wanted to talk about that situation at all. But I can't remember what specific video this person was all up in arms under in the comments. Obviously, this individual's listening comprehension is on zero because I feel like I made it quite clear in all of those videos why I felt race mattered in that whole situation. I'm not going to link the comment or anything or give the person screen name because this person is insignificant and that kind of rhetoric really shouldn't even be dignified with a response. But here we go. I got time today. Unfortunately, this type of complaint is one that I see and hear a lot and that I've been seeing and hearing from a handful of people in the comments under my live streams under the James Charles uh, Tati videos. Comments where the offended party is called racist for pointing out racism. Here's the problem with that. The notion that avoiding addressing and discussing racism is somehow the answer to racism is both bizarre and completely fucking deluded. And it's a delusion that's a direct outgrowth of privilege because only a person who lives a life privileged enough not to have to experience discriminatory behavior directed against them, only a person who has that privilege would have the audacity the arrogance, and frankly, the stupidity to make comments like this. Stop minimizing the trauma and the experiences of others simply because it isn't something that happens to you. And if that's the stance you're going to take, like, why are you bringing up racism when it doesn't even matter, when it's not even a factor in this situation? If that's actually what you believe and that's what you want to contribute to the conversation that the rest of us are trying to have about real issues, fuck you for real. My writer does know that I do often clap back at trolls in my comments. Uh, but even when I slit your throat, I do it with my pinky up. But this type of shit just pisses me all the way off. I won't tolerate someone who is dismissive simply because they find my oppression to be inconvenient or they're just tired of hearing about it. Because believe me, we're fucking tired of living it. And if all you have to add to the conversation is whining about the very discussion of racism and bigotry somehow being responsible for the racism and bigotry itself, you are not welcome here. The end. I've said before, and I will keep saying, if you are permissive in the face of hate speech and racist behavior, then you are just as racist as those whom you protect. Because by doing nothing, you both protect and perpetuate racism. A silent ally is not an ally. By the way, I'm using this Dose of Colors palette if anyone was wondering. But again, all that crap is in the description box. Anyway, I'm sure there's gonna be some people who unsubscribe and don't like that, you know, I'm getting all political on you now. As my channel shifts and changes, I know there's gonna be some people who unsubscribe and, you know, I'm not really in a position where I can afford to lose subscribers necessarily, but I'm also not in a position to continue doing everything the way that I have been doing it because it's not working for me on a personal fulfillment level and it's also not working numbers wise anyway. I don't yet know exactly where all of this will go. You know, I ain't got all the answers, Sway. I fuck up all the time. I don't know what I'm doing any more than anyone else. And that will always be true. That doesn't end in my estimation. That's just life. Life is basically figuring out how to live and making a lot of mistakes along the way. I had someone say the other day, I'm so glad you're not problematic. Girl, I'm sure I am problematic, whatever that means. I actually really don't like that word problematic. It gets thrown around so much. At this point, I feel like it's pretty much lost all meaning that it might have had initially. It's just a blanket term buzzword at this point, as far as I can tell. And I'm just at the point where if someone is a racist, call him a racist. If he's a misogynist, call him a misogynist. If he's homophobic, call him homophobic. 
If someone's an asshole, call them an asshole. The end. Let's let's stop throwing around this word problematic because at this point it kind of means nothing. But I've got my little teeny tiny platform here. And uh, I don't know, I feel like I've just spent way too much time thinking it was better to keep my mouth shut when it comes to issues that actually matter. After all, YouTube blatantly discourages discussion about anything that's even remotely controversial. Their policies make that quite clear that they don't want you making any waves. The revolution will not be televised and evidently it ain't gonna be on YouTube either. But in the face of these challenges, I am very proud of my nap fam here on YouTube. I'm proud of the small but mighty community that we have built of independent thinkers and genuinely just funny as fuck people. Y'all have me cracking up. And if it weren't for the little community that we've built together here, I would have quit YouTube ages ago because I certainly am not <laughs> living it up from YouTube. This isn't lucrative for me. I'm not, you know, I'm not getting the clicks and the sponsorships like that. So I'm here because I love our community. When you guys leave comments saying that one of my videos helped you in some way, you learned a new technique or you got a cool tip or just gave you an idea of how to do something, that means the world to me. Especially because that's how I fell in love with YouTube in the first place. It was watching videos from other people that I just found really helpful or just entertaining or whatever. And I wanted to try to bring my version of that to the platform too. So I truly am humbled when you guys tell me that my videos are helpful or even just fun or funny, fun to watch, entertaining, whatever. Do not be fooled by my icy demeanor. I'm actually really, really sensitive to the point of being maudlin sometimes. I'm gonna tight line real quick and I know this looks a bit gruesome so I'll probably cut around this part and come right back. All right, I have done my best to tight line. My eye is watering a lot, so it's kind of a crab job today. But anyway, where was I? Yeah, this channel is changing and I'm still figuring out how exactly and how it all is going to work. But at this point, the idea of doing a video about brow gel or something like that just seems incredibly frivolous and unfulfilling. So it might mean doing those frivolous videos and then just working in more lives where I feel like I can actually talk to you guys or just more videos like this maybe where I can kind of combine all of those worlds where I'm doing my makeup or my skincare routine or doing my hair, but I'm also able to, whilst doing that, talk to you guys about current events or whatever the case may be. So I do think it is still going to be worthwhile for me to share information that I think is helpful when it comes to hair care or whatever. I think it's also helpful and important to start conversations with you all about more things so that we can communicate and share our thoughts and feelings and maybe even help each other, like help each other gain better perspectives, to be better people, all that kind of thing. Because like I said, I ain't got all the answers, man. I'm a huge fuck up and I feel like I learn from you guys all the time. So just as much as I hope to help you all, you guys help me in the same way. I'm gonna quickly put on lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, lashes are on. The only reason I never put my lashes on on camera is I have to be this far away from my mirror to make sure they're sitting right. So it's just too hard to keep that in frame and you guys wouldn't be able to see anything anyway because the mirror would be in my face. So I'm gonna let these guys dry and then I'll pinch them together. If get ready with me videos, particularly chatty get ready with me videos, weren't such a pain in the ass to edit, I would probably do them a lot more, but they actually are very time consuming to edit. And if no one seems to want to really watch them anyway, there isn't much point. But I figure if I can maybe merge my older stuff because I'm still always going to love makeup and skincare and beauty and all that shit. If I can find ways to merge all of those things with actually talking about things that are happening in the news or social issues and things like that, I think that this might be a decent format to do it. That way, those of you who signed up for the videos about hair and makeup and stuff like that don't feel like that's getting forsaken. And then the fitness stuff is never going to go anywhere because as long as I am able-bodied, I'm going to use my body. I actually just finished officially the fourth week of Stephanie Buttermore's eight week women's specialization program. So I'm official tishel 
past the halfway point now, which is really exciting. This is a lower body focus program if you're unfamiliar. So my cakes are still baking. Still got four more weeks to go before it's done, but I'm really excited to do that. She tried it, that review. The note on my phone where I've been keeping all of my pros, cons, and miscellaneous, the way I always structure my reviews, it is lengthy already, let me tell you. But if there are any issues that are kind of evergreen that you guys might want to have a family meeting about, let me know in the comments, like whether it is, I don't know. I mean, what, for example, one thing I kind of want to do a video about is the issue of microaggressions, because it's something that I experience every day. I'm sure a lot of you guys do as well. And I have a lot of thoughts on microaggressions, particularly within a racial context, since that is undoubtedly the subtext of nearly all of the microaggressions that I experience walking around in this world of ours every day. For the uninitiated, by the way, I don't wear foundation unless I'm going to be filming YouTube videos. I'm doing my makeup for real life right now, so I just have concealer. Just in case anyone was just like, wait, why is she doing concealer before foundation? It's because I'm not doing foundation. So microaggressions, I actually have quite a lot of topics. Ever since I've been feeling this fire in my belly, the ideas of videos that I want to do and just things I want to talk about with you guys have been flowing. But if there's something, you know, along the lines of the microaggressions idea, I think the broader the subject matter, the harder it would be to do a video because then it would just be <laughs> 18 hours long. But let me know what you guys think. And I'm not only going to talk about racial issues, of course. I think there's just a lot of things going on, particularly since the most recent president took office, where I feel like we are really going the wrong way as a society in a very pronounced way, a very disheartening way. Just the way we treat each other, all sorts of things. So I just, I just want to talk, I guess. But it seems that the situation that started this all and made it clear to me that this is a chance I need to take in terms of taking my channel in a new direction. This whole Tati James Charles situation and Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star's last video that he put out where clearly this motherfucker had zero receipts. I think that was why he called the ceasefire. It was just like, oh, I made the mistake for the first time ever of not picking on someone who was smaller than me. He picked on someone who was his own size or bigger, at least in terms of following with James Charles. And that was uh, something he had not prepared for. So I think that's why he was just like, whoa, 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 let's let all the hate stop. The whole thing just smacked of bullshit. And uh, as I've said repeatedly, I remain unsubscribed from all y'all. I mean, now more than ever, I'm like, okay, it is clear to me, this shit ain't for me. This is not my bag. This is not my community. I don't want to be associated with y'all. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. What else is going on? I'm completely revamping my channel. You guys are probably gonna think that I'm problematic and unsubscribe. What else? Already told you guys what I'm getting ready for. I am so excited. I feel like I'm going to a lot of amazing live shows coming up in the next couple of months, which is really good. I feel like I haven't gotten much live entertainment since, basically since I left New Orleans. I don't think I've seen like a live band or live anything since I went to New Orleans earlier this year. So it's definitely time. I don't know. Hopefully you guys will like this format of get ready with me while I start a revolution. <laughs> because I do more and more, it seems, get requests for me to do tutorials on various looks that I'm wearing in my videos, which is surprising to me because I really don't know what I'm doing. I just keep blending until it looks passable. And even today I had to make sure I didn't do anything too complex because I was worried about having to talk and stay on track. And I was like, I can't have some crazy technique focused makeup look that I come up with while still having to do all that. And I feel like most of this video is just gonna be my forehead because of where this mirror has been placed. So sorry about that, guys. I, I've never quite nailed what the best setup is for me to even do get ready with me kind of videos. And I don't do them much. And I'm not about to start doing tutorials because I ain't no damn guru. But get ready with me videos, you know, they seem like lazy content. And I only feel like in terms of production, they are not lazy, at least for me, because 
I feel like these are probably the most time consuming to edit. As I said earlier, in particular, chatty get ready with me's rather than a voiceover. So it's not like they're not labor intensive. I only feel like they're lazy content when that's literally all you ever do. Chatty get ready with me, full face of trying new products. When that's what you do every single video, that's when I get bored because it's mental laziness. You're not challenging yourself to flex as a creator, try new things, expand your skill set, keep your audience interested. I mean, clearly it works for some people, Tati. If all you do is the same shit over and over, like some people will stick around. But I personally don't think quantity necessarily equates to quality because I do find myself as a viewer, like I do tend to unsubscribe from people after a point if I feel like the content just becomes stale and redundant. And I may be guilty of that as a creator. I mean, my numbers would certainly indicate that. So for better or for worse, <laughs> I'm going to find out if doing something different with this channel is worthwhile. So be sure to let me know what kind of topics you guys would like to discuss in the comments. Let me know what's the last live music show music show i sound like such a grandpa let me know what the last live show you went to was whether it was music comedy a play something else entirely i'm generally a big supporter of live comedy i think i see more live comedy than the average bear but i haven't even been to a comedy show all that recently i'm trying to think who was the last comedian i saw live well the last comedy show i went to i was performing <laughs> Shout out to my girl Paulette. Thank you for coming out. So that was a fun show and there were some amazing comedians who went up that night. That was, I was really impressed with some of the talent that we got on that show. And just let me know what else is good with you guys. Let me know if your week is off to a good start. Let me know what you think now that this fucking saga with these three YouTubers is all over. What are your thoughts on the final... I don't know, I feel like it ended with a bit of a whimper, if I'm honest. But I'm also glad it's over because, as I said in one of my lives, I found the whole thing to be very embarrassing as a creator. Like, this is not who I want representing YouTube or the beauty community on YouTube because I'm part of those communities and I don't want people to think of them when I say, oh, like, I make YouTube videos. Granted, this isn't my full-time job or anything. It's still a hobby and I don't know. Maybe one day if I can actually get the algorithms to stop hating on me, I'll be able to do this full time. But baby, we are not even close to that yet. I'm trying to decide if I want to go with a bold lip or nah. Usually it's in my, in my usual routine. It's either bold eye or bold lip, not both because I don't want to look all hookerish. But I also do love me, my Instagram fam will know this, I do love me a good monochromatic look. I usually go purple where I'll do a purple eye, a purple lip, and sometimes even purple hair. I really just love that just one tone. So we've got a corally situation going on on these eyes. I'm thinking maybe I might use a coral lippy because I just picked one up. Those of you who saw my Sephora sale haul will remember that. And I haven't even worn it yet, so maybe today is the day. Hopefully I don't regret this and it's not too much. I feel like this lip color is looking way louder on camera than it looks in real life. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about it. I feel like I like it more in person than I do on camera though. Hmm. I think I'm going to just tone this down. Yeah, I think I'm gonna tone it down. I'm panicking. Okay, I'm just gonna go with my current go-to favorite lip combo right now, which is my NARS Balm and my Fenty Gloss. The lippy did stain my lips a bit. I think that'll be good for a day when I have a very neutral eye, just like no shadow and just lashes or just like a brown and lashes, that kind of thing. But it's just a bit too much for me to have like the super bright, especially when I saw it on camera, just like, oh no girl. But the super bright lip with kind of a lot on the eyes was a bit too much for me. But that is pretty much 
it. So I'm going to finish up doing some things that I need to do here at home until it's time for me to head out to see Black Star. I can't wait. But I am ready. That's it. Here is the finished look. just for hanging out with me. And thanks most of all to those of you who are sticking with me as I go through this channel transitional phase and figure out where we're gonna go, but I'm really glad that we are gonna go there together. Thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye-bye. That's, that's a nappy-headed hose there, I'm gonna take that down. <laughs>